Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my emergency slash travel cages. Now, this is a very big thing I don't see anyone talk about who has smaller animals such as ferrets, rabbits, things like that. A lot of them who own 20 plus pets don't really document or I don't see have a emergency plan or even have enough carriers to take their animals out if need be, even if it's for moving. So it's really important that you have this backed up and you do have a plan for a evacuation type situation because they are still a part of the family. They're just as important as say a dog or a cat would be. So I'm going to talk to you through what I use and why I've chosen to use these. So obviously owning so many pets, I had to think strategically and what was best for my money and obviously getting 20 plus plastic cat carriers like this wasn't going to be a good idea because trying to carry them all out and trying to have the room for them all is just going to be annoying and that is a lot of plastic so i went ahead and thought outside the box and i've decided to buy two foot by one foot flight cages that has the divider so these are often what breeders use and they look like this i'm going to show you mine in person in a second but i thought this was great because it's going to be two carriers in the one cage so i have three of them i'm just going to show you one and this allows me to have my rabbits in one guinea pigs in another chinchilla rats and then my birds and my ferrets so ferrets I actually probably will get a separate carrier for them just because I don't really want them to be so close because these do only have a grid divider I don't really want to risk that so ferrets I would suggest if you're gonna get these carriers and you do have smaller prey animals maybe get a cat carrier and keep them separate just to be safe so I'm just gonna show you the carrier so this is what the cage looks like. Now this one does have zip ties and that is because if you watched my getting new ferret video this is what I was using to bond them. It was just like a sleeping cage for them and little Willow my albino ferret is so small and was so small that she was able to push through the divider here so that is why I definitely don't recommend using this as a ferret slash small rodent because you are risking your small rodent's life so make sure you probably separate your ferrets in another carrier you can use a cat kennel or whatever you want to do but these are great for the bulk of your animals if you have mainly small animals like I do so one thing I really like about this is one the doors have a locking system already now as you can see right here there is a little indentation and this prevents them being able to push out or pull it open now it is actually quite hard you do have to pull and then pull up for it to open so you're not going to have to worry about escapees and it's the same on the little food dish and water dish doors now this is the bowls the cage come with and it also comes with two dow perches which I've thrown away but I've decided to keep these bowls and I actually used it as a organization for my pet supplies I'll link that video down below where I showed you how I used them but these do come with it this is just a spare one that I didn't need um, you could use this but I prefer just to use a non-plastic one I don't really like using plastic bowls especially for water because of phthalates now the other thing this does have a wire base bottom which you can easily cover if you saw what I did when I was doing the ferret bonding I put their beds in the front half and then I left a corner for their water dish and I left a corner for them to be able to go to the bathroom. This way I could just line the tray with newspaper or puppy pads and then it's really easy for me to just take out the tray, clean the tray and put it back in rather than trying to clean out a whole cat carrier and some cat carriers are not open top or you can't separate it 
So it just makes it a lot harder. This one is so easy because I just have to pull out the tray, dump the litter or whatever I choose to use and put new one and slide it back in. I don't have to worry about having to take the animals out, especially if you're in an evacuation situation where you're maybe not in a house or you're not in an enclosed area. You can't be go letting, you know, your rabbits out running around. So this makes it really, really easy to safely clean out their cage if, say, you have to wait outside for a little bit and you have to have your... So now for some pros of using a carrier like this. One, they are a lot cheaper in the long run because if you think about it, having to buy several cat kennels and several small rodent kennels, that is going to add up. Them small plastic rodent things are about 15 to 20 dollars at least where I am and the small cat kennels are about 30 to 40 dollars so add them up on how many pets that's going to be a lot whereas this this cost me 50 dollars for two cages in one I spent 150 for three of them and they hold all my animals and I know I'm not going to have any escaping the second one is it is very convenient even as a travel cage say you have multiple appointments in the one for the vet you can very easily put the two separate animals in this cage and go you don't have to worry about trying to carry multiple kennels through the vet that can be very very annoying so this is just the one cage you just have to carry you can have your two separate animals and they are going to be fine the third pro is convenience Again, it's just so easy to carry these around. They're very lightweight, even though they are metal. And you don't have to worry about getting different size cages for different size animals for like rodents and stuff because the bar spacing is so small that you can fit any rodent in here and any normal bigger. Now with the pros, there is a couple of cons, but the pros definitely outweigh it. The first one being the doors are smaller, so if you have, say, a larger rabbit, such as a New Zealand White, Californian, um, even a Holland lot maybe, they probably are not going to fit. Nala and Cloudy can fit in the one divider perfectly fine. I can get them out perfectly fine, no hassles. So if you have a smaller breed, you're good. But if you do have them larger breeds, I would suggest getting maybe a small cat kennel for them. So that is kind of a downside the door is a lot smaller and the second con is these are quite bulky to store now you can collapse them down and fold them up but I don't recommend you do that because in an emergency situation you're not going to have time to build up a cage so you kind of want to have these on hand and ready and at a easy access I personally keep these on top of the pet cages that I have so if there is an emergency all I have to do is pick them up and put them in their cages and off we go rather than if say you keep your kennels in the shed having to go to the shed and grab them and load them all up it's just going to be too difficult so this is a, a lot bigger carrier to say store because it is two foot long by one foot wide which is basically the minimum for a budgie cage so just keep that in mind but the pros definitely outweighs so i hope this video helped you out for the people who do own many many animals that is something that you cannot forget when gaining quite a lot of animals you have to think of the if and the scary bits evacuation can happen even if you don't think it will ever happen things happen life happens you have to be prepared for it and your animals are your responsibilities and you do have to care for them in the evacuation just like you care for your family members.